Welcome back to the News at 6. Thanks so much for spending some time with us this evening. Now, while the Lewis and Clark Library is closed to the public, with the exception of hold pickups, there has been a lot of work going on inside the building. MTN's John Riley takes us inside that new library. It's been nearly two decades since the last major improvement to the main branch of the Lewis and Clark Library. After more than a year of work, they're finally wrapping up their remodel and upgrade. Where we're at right now, it's truly amazing where we've gotten to from where we started. Um, thanks to COVID, uh, construction actually picked up pace in the spring and early summer. But uh, as COVID wore on, there were some labor shortages with some of the con uh, subcontractors. So things kind of slowed down a little bit. But now we're, we're practically done with major construction. And it's just stuff that the library staff is doing right now. The remodel features expanded and improved community rooms and a new discovery room for crafts and other messy programming offered at the library. The children's section has also been expanded with a sleeping giant themed reading area and more space for story time and other events. The library has also drastically increased the amount of reading and workspaces, including a new area that overlooks both Anchor and Pioneer Parks. Finn says the $6 million remodel is looking to come in just under budget and will help the library become, quote, Helena's living room. We, we think that that's going to be part of um, libraries in the future, that, that whole idea of being a community gathering space where people come and not only check out a book, but share ideas and use our, our rooms to have programs and meet with other people. The hope is that it will help redefine the meaning of the library to be synonymous with community. The Lewis and Clark Library wants to thank the community for their support and understanding during the pandemic. Staff guarantee, once it's safe to do so, there'll be quite the celebration in order to commemorate the new Lewis and Clark Library. Reporting in Helena, John Riley, MTN News. All right, now with another look at the forecast, here's Andy Curtis. Not a bad day across Montana.